This is SAT test 4, calculator question number 28. College Board gives us a quadratic in factored form of product of two linear expressions and asks which of the following is an equivalent form of function h above. Many of us are tempted to jump on that, use FOIL, and find that this matches choice B, which it does, and stop there. That's unfortunate because College Board, as much as they test math, tests how carefully you read the question and do the math they're asking for rather than just do the math you've chosen correctly. Finishing the question, equivalent form of the function f above in which the minimum value of f appears as a constant or coefficient. Since they're asking for the minimum value, and this is a calculator question, I'm just going to my calculator, put f of x into y equals in its factored form, hit graph, and I see a parabola opening up. something like this. If I say calculate the minimum and I move to the left of the minimum, I can just type in negative 6 because that's clearly to the left and ask for right bound and let's try positive 6 which I know is to the right. I'm just going to hit enter for guess and the calculator says the minimum is x equals negative 1, y equals negative 25. Having used the calculator quickly this is suddenly a much easier question. The minimum value of f, the minimum value is the y, appears as a constant or coefficient. Only one choice has a negative 25, so that would be choice d. That's the correct answer. If I try to do this by hand without the calculator, I can also find the answer. I know from FOIL that b is equivalent, but the negative 25 does not appear in that answer or in choices a or c. But let's look at x plus 6, x minus 4 equals 0. That gives me the two zeros of the function. If a product equals 0, either the first factor equals 0 or the second factor equals 0. So that gives me x plus 6 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. Solving, x equals negative 6. That's a really sloppy x. Or x equals positive 4. The x coordinate at the vertex is midway between the two zeros of the function. These are the zeros of the function. They're the values of x when the function is equal to 0. So for the vertex, hk, the standard letters for the vertex, h equals the average of the two zeros, negative 6 plus 4 over 2 which is negative 2 over 2 equals negative 1. So the vertex is negative 1. And I can substitute negative 1 into f of x to get f of negative 1, which is the y value when x equals negative 1, the y value at the vertex. That's negative 1 plus 6, negative 1 minus 4. And this is easier in the factored form than it would be distributed out. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. So the minimum value of the function, which they said they want an equivalent form in which the minimum, minimum value appears as a constant or coefficient, minimum value is negative 25. The only option that has negative 25 as a constant or coefficient is choice D. So that must be the correct answer to the question that College Board is asking. Always check. In particular, I like to reread the question when I finish to make sure that my answer answers their question rather than just my question. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.